Hello, this is Joe Pryor, the virtual real estate team in Oklahoma City. It's the middle of January 2022. And what's on everybody's mind who's an investor or anybody that borrows money for just about anything is what's going to go on with interest rates. Now, you know, for the last two years, we've had the Federal Reserve flooding us with money, uh, mainly because COVID has really done a damage to the economy that, you know, if they hadn't have done this if they haven't had more money being printed and, you know, giving out very inexpensive or almost free money in a way uh, for you to do things with. Uh, it would have been extremely difficult. We could have had a recession even greater than 2008. But here we are in 2022 and all that money is circulating out there. And one thing we know about money supply, for one, is that it creates inflation. Uh, we also know with supply chain issues that demand is still out there, but supplies are low, that can create inflation. Now, uh, inflation. now the question is, and I'm not going to be a world-class economist here telling you what's going on, is whether it's transitory, in other words, is it going to correct itself by the end of the year, or is this something that's just we're going to have to live with from now on? But what we have to do with our crystal ball is not look way into the future, but where we are right now. So for instance, in the last, oh, I'd say about two weeks, we've seen a three eighths of a point increase in interest rates for homes. Uh, and part of this is because, you know, of inflation, but also because the Fed is stopping or tapering off, I should say, it's quantitative easing, where it's buying its own treasuries, its own mortgage-backed securities that are out there. Uh, and so because of that reason, the public sector uh, has to come in and buy more of those treasuries and more of those mortgage-backed securities uh, in order to keep those interest rates low. And of course, that hasn't happened. Now, the Fed has signaled either three or four rate increases this year, and we've had one so far. In other words, will that happen? Well, we'll just have to wait and see. But interest rates are up right now. The most important thing though about this is, you know, if I have to pay as an investor for a 20% down fixed rate for 30 years at, you know, 4% for somebody that's older, it's nothing. My first loan on a mortgage was 17% in 1978, I believe the year was. That's my first home. I paid 17% fixed rate. That's how high inflation was at that time. Uh, I had a business that my bank loan was 22% and yet we were successful. So now we're talking about four and we have people doing wailing and gnashing of teeth because, oh my God, the world is coming to an end. No, it's not. 4% is still below if we're at 7% and you're at 4%, you are still below the rate of inflation. Remember, you're locking these rates in for 30 years. So. If inflation goes and stays at 7% and you're at four, you got a 3% there. That's a negative, what we call a negative interest rate. And it stays, it never changes. Now, another thing that you can do is pay discount points. This allows you to buy down the mortgage rate. And we can help you with that in terms of what the best thing to do is. Now, the other thing you can do is go to 25% down on a single family versus 20. That also lowers your rates and you're fixing that in for 30 years. So whatever it happens to be, let us work with you. We're still looking at return on investment to make sure it's right. Yes, interest rates are going up, but at the same time, there is ways that we can deal with it. Trust us, we'll be happy to help.